We've always been in and around this space. I mean, our origins were a TV network in Canada. Um, and then through that, we developed this digital world of the mobile app. And we're like the second most popular app in North America. ESPN is number one, we're number two. And we've always known that a high percentage of all the people who engage with us bet on sports. So it seemed unfulfilling for us just to become the super affiliate. We looked at the market, we said, look, the best thing to do is just go all in. And we said, are we licensable? Absolutely, because we kept ourselves perfectly clean for the last 20 years, hoping and praying that sports betting was gonna open up and um, had to cut some deals. So we get a deal with Betworks that allowed us to do the backend technology. Then we met Dennis Drazen from Mama Park and that got us our license in New Jersey. And boom, you know, five weeks ago, we launched in New Jersey for literally, literally the only sports media company that's actually the operator. We're the bookie and we're having a lot of fun and we're learning like crazy. It's amazing. And I do believe you have a partnership with Penn National. You have plans Correct. to expand beyond New Jersey. Tell me about that. Correct. So, I mean, those are the first two deals we did. And then the next deal we did was with Penn National. We've always said that New Jersey was just our entrance point, right? And our users, 65% of all of our users on our app come from the States. You know, we have four to five million average monthly users. They hit our app a hundred plus times a month. I mean, this was always about doing a national footprint, but we have to do it on a state by state basis, which is fine with us. So our options were one of two things. Either we go state by state or we find a bigger company, a gaming company that actually kind of thought like us and thinks like us. And there are not many of them around, like, cause a lot of the big guys, the MGMs and all the other guys, they're kind of stuck in legacy land and, and they got a lot of other interests to protect and huge revenue streams. And then we met up with Kaplowitz and, you know, and Penn and their thought process was a lot like ours in terms of how to deal with the consumer. So we did a deal with them and it gives us access to 11 more states. Iowa and Indiana are available to us in the next six to 12 months and we're gonna launch in there. And then we have nine other states. It's a great relationship. Uh, I think that's only the beginning for us with them. And yes, they're brick and mortar based, but and we're mobile based, but I think there's a really interesting combination there that we're gonna affect. Awesome, I think you're really paving the way with a media company just getting involved in the sports betting world. Right. And I know a big per point of this conference here in New York City was to educate media companies right. here on how right. they can get involved when things move along here. That's a lot of work. I was about to say, I was about <laughs> to say, for our viewers and for these media companies, what kind of advice would you have for them if they wish to get involved with actually launching a sports betting app? You know, it's really hard. I mean, I can only speak for us because of, of the type of media company we were. And we were never your traditional media company. Our TV network was never the traditional button down shirt and tie TV network. It was more guys just talking about sports. And you know, when sports betting came up on our TV network in Canada, that was only in Canada, you know, the other networks would be saying, well, you know, if a spread was going over a 14 point spread, they go, well, that's interesting. Meanwhile, our guys are pulling out their freaking hair because they probably lost a hundred dollar bet on it. So, you know, it was always natural for us. For them, they got to find their own comfort zone. And, you know, I, I, I well, let it be for me to give them advice. I mean, these billion dollar companies. But I, all I would say is, I think the whole thing is really about to change really about to change. We're just at the tip of the iceberg now. And then yes, we did something quite evolutionary by integrating sports betting into our media operations. I mean, it's it's only part of parcel of why people love sports and that's why how we deal with it. But I think what you're going to see in the next three to five years, as media companies are trying to figure out and understand how to make the broadcast of their sports events make sense, um, this whole thing is going to go upside down. And it's, it's hard, I mean, I can sort of see, we can sort of see and talk about it, but um, you know, the sports networks now that carry the games and doing stuff for the rest of the 12 or 18 hours a day that very few people are watching the TV networks. I think there's a real opportunity there to just rethink it.